Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Undressed with Paul and Patrick. I'm Paul, my husband Patrick, in little Snow White 90210. Hey, bitches! <laughs> Before I introduce our guest today, I just want to remind you. We have a guest. Okay. Is it exciting? Are you excited? We have a guest. I don't know. I saw a homeless guy drive by. So oh, maybe sure that's our guest. Yeah, you drove in. Okay. So before I introduce our guest, I want to remind all of you to rate, review, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, tell your brother, your mother, your sister, your Wake uncle. up that dad grandmother. You know what it's like. <laughs> Wake that old subscribe. bitch up and make her subscribe too. So, Get her an extra Samsung. Whatever it takes, my friend. A Samsung? No, we're iPhone users. Are we Samsung users? Who cares? I don't care what climate you come from. Sign up. Okay, babe. Can I introduce our guest? We have one. We have a guest. Yay! We are going to welcome, you guys know him from the TV show The Traders on Peacock. Wait, is that the only thing they know him from, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. He's a, he is a traitor oh he is a traitor <laughs> but we also found out he's an actor christian de la torre torre okay you're on it, bro. welcome to the Paula to beverly that. hills boutique it sounds like a lasagna dish or something it does it's doesn't like, it it's kind of de la torre yeah. you want some pa- uh, linguine lasagna or de la torre you're spot on de la torre yeah it is. are you italian, italian or something italian spanish and mexican but i look like a white dude that drives a van which is probably the homeless guy you were referencing that was the that's, homeless guy. That's your boy. Somebody driving up to the boutique. We are about to call the police. In front of the Damn, boutique. I, I would expect that in Beverly Hills. With like a, a nervous. like we a like, camper you would see like at the Burning Man or something. Or yeah. Coachella. Is oh that you? God, were you at that Burning Man? I wasn't at Burning Man. I, I don't go that far <laughs> yet no. into the like. Um, oh, I thought the whole fit nah, was Burning nah. Man today. No, I don't think this is enough for Burning Man. Or I guess this is too much for too Burning Too much Man. for Burning Man. I need yeah, less on. Much. Yes, less on. Exactly. Not. No. So thank you. Thank you for thank you coming. For having me. I'm yes, up. absolutely. Christian, tell our audience where okay, the traders, right? That's yeah. how you got started. That's maybe. how I got started. That's more than likely the it only way. It was either way. traders, only fans. And he outweighed, yeah. you know, yep. I had to, to go out, with what it. What am I gonna do? That's right. I mean I'm I might still sell some feet picks every once in a while, but oh, uh, do you have I'll, great looking feet? I don't think I have great looking feet. I have normal looking feet, but Ever since the traders, I've gotten a lot of inquiries. From Let me photos. see. Take off oh those shoes. God. God. Paul is oh making God, him I'm take off see. his shoes. Oh God, I'm going to tell you why. This this I'm isn't free. I shouldn't be doing I this. I told him. <laughs> I told him. I have gorgeous feet. We'll compare. Do you? I don't have gorgeous feet. I'm a climber, bro. Like I, my feet Uh-oh. are not. No, your feet are okay. Uh, no, they're no, not. I don't get. Maybe. I don't really get no. too many pedicures. Yeah, no. No. Put them back. Okay. Put them back. But hey, someone. Everybody close your eyes. Right? That was hard. God. No, I'm, I'm not like, I don't like get them done. But ever since you, you go on a show and people are like, can I see some, show a little skin? And yeah, I'm not going to say no. It's just Nobody's feet. calling me oh for some God. skin. Hello, five seasons into Gown and Out in Beverly Hills. Right. Could you DM me for some skin, please? That's You're what, too busy doing need. Armenian coffee reads. I do. Yeah, Which, I will remind our audience, you can get your Armenian coffee read by going to paulatu.com. Yeah, oh. and book me virtually. <laughs> book and him. We'll hang out. I love it. Exactly. So, Christian, you're an yeah. actor as well as reality personality. Mm-hmm. So, how did you get started on the Traders? How did this happen? Um, I just got hit up via Instagram. So, I came to LA not even wanting or trying to be an actor. I've never taken an acting class. Okay. Um, and when I oh, say, you don't have to, you don't have to impress that upon us. <laughs> we already knew. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry, we got that part. Hey, to continue. That's all good. It's funny though when people say that and they're like, "Oh, you're such a bad actor on the show." It's funny. I made it to the second to last episode. So. I must have been doing something right. If I was so bad, you're a I don't, good liar. I, exactly, you were a great liar you're because a good liar. because I'm an actor. Yeah, and That's you why. have no heart. <laughs> no heart. Because, can't have a heart. Because at the end, when they realize that you have to have a heart, he bowed out. Yeah. Because yeah. he couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. But you, you just stuck in there because you wanted that money. I wanted the money. I wanted to split it with him, but. Uh, that, that's a whole we can get into that later how, no, how much money was it it was two hundred fifty thousand dollars. so and is it like american idol where they pay you over 40, 40 years. years every oh my month God. i hope not i th- <laughs> to my understanding it wasn't it wasn't that i know it was taxed pretty heavy but you'd have to ask sari uh she's the queen she won the show she could tell you all about that but that's um, funny because american idol america's got talent yeah. in a little tiny tiny print at the end it's, see, they pay you over 40 years see but i would never know have known she, that she learned from survivor 
Yeah, and that's another thing. She can't have a heart, and she needed to do what she did at yeah. the end in order for her to be able to get the final prize. Exactly. I yeah. mean, you got to remember, too, that's what's... She s- threw you under the bus. Yeah, she did, but <laughs> rightfully so. Rightfully so. And, like, that's the thing is most people don't understand. They got they get so intense about... it's First and foremost, it's a fucking game. Yeah. So, like, I was selected to be a trader. That was the role I was going to play. I did don't, you know from the very beginning? No, no, I no. didn't know. I was supposed to be an alternate. I didn't even know until the day before, like, at, like, midnight... That I was selected really? to go on the show. But even then, yeah. we didn't know if we were traitors. Yep. And this is what worked against me. I didn't know anybody on the celebrity thing except uh. Ryan Lochte. I didn't know there was all-star reality show people like the Cody's, the Rachel's, Cerise, Stephanie, all Brandy these people. Gundel, yeah, Brandy Gundel. Brandy. Well, Brandy, yeah, absolutely. And Brandy being as famous as she is and well-known, I was thinking more of the competitive series side. I didn't know all these people like Cody they had an upper leg. Right. So when I'm in there as a trader, I'm just like having fun. It's my first show. I'm from the Midwest. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this role seriously and fun and lie. And yeah. like so many people were like, oh, you don't have a heart or you're so mean. I'm like, well, yeah, that's literally the game is called the traders. Yeah. You were Not, playing. I was you playing, playing. Did playing you know? Because a lot of times with games, right? They, yeah. they, when they do it, um, they don't tell you the rules and everything up front. You kind of learn it as we you go. Know. Did you know nope. what's happening? We knew nothing. All I was told is that you're going to be living in a castle in Scotland with okay. uh, 19 other people. Okay. Well, that was better than the camper you'd roll up in. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, oh, hello. Yeah, no, th- that camper's great, though. For me, I love that damn thing. But it, the castle, I'll take a castle all day over a camper. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, yeah, you didn't know anything. And I didn't know there was going to even be celebrities on the show. Really? No, I had no idea. So wow. when we rolled up half of the the civilian cast that they, they were like that's brandy that's so and so and i was like who the hell are these people from what <laughs> all i know is ryan lockney because of the olympics right yeah. it's the only individual i knew that's ari from the bachelor sari and yeah. right there red flag she she almost run one survivor three times and so yep. i should have been thinking like okay these people got some skill Skills. here they have some well, experience they've been through, they've been through a, a series of obstacles that they absolutely knew how to be able to navigate probably a lot better understanding where the camera angles are, what's expected of them, yep. when they should talk, when they're mic'd, when they're not. Yep. There was a lot of experience. You're absolutely yeah, correct. And I was just, I was just there like, okay, I'm going to play the dumb Midwest guy who lives out of a van and just be, do you live out of a van? I don't live out of the van full time. Oh, did I? you before or no? No. no. no I did live out of a van. He lives out of Motel 6. <laughs> yeah, Motel they, 6. They leave the light on for him. For Motel everybody. 6 ain't that cheap anymore. No, I just don't. like McDonald's ain't that cheap anymore either. I was on a road trip and I, there's no more dollar menu. <laughs> oh my God. There's no more <laughs> don't dollar menu. Don't you hate that? I, I haven't been to a McDonald's in two weeks. Oh. my favorite part. Dude, same. So I rolled in there going yeah. up to Canada this last two weeks. I'm like, I'm going to get some McDonald's and trash out. Fuck it. Go yeah. in there. I was like, let me get three McChickens. I'll they're like, oh, that'd be 18. I go, 18 dot for what? Yeah. And they're like, oh. coronary? That's what I'm saying. I, like, that's who what needs I'm... that? I can get that just doing we, that. We drove to Arizona two I'm weeks so ago because we have a house there. We're remodeling. Okay. So we drove to Arizona. We drive through the, the drive through in Quartzsite or something. I think Wherever it was. It was. Yeah. In the middle of fucking nowhere in Arizona. And he goes, okay, go for the dollar menu. And it was like two, like it was double the <gasps> it price. It was $10 a person <laughs> for... I don't know, chicken McNugget That's and what I'm like saying, a bro. dollar burger? That, what is it? Inflation. That's what the lady told no, me. The 18 no, year old working there was like, and inflation. they had attitude. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> same. They were like, is that it? I was like, was that it? I was like, what you, is there like a shit? I even asked the first time in my life. I was like, do you guys get a military discount here? Like, what the fuck? Wait, why would you get a military discount? Because I was in the, oh, I was in the military. He was in the military. Oh, we didn't know that. So yeah. what did you do in the military? How many tours of Iraq have you done? Uh, I didn't do any to Iraq. I did one to Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Oh. But no, there's, obviously people that went to Iraq yeah. as well. So I did one deployment to Europe, which was two months. And that was mainly a party. Uh, it was <laughs> in like Germany. It was like uh, right. a training exercise. And okay. then we did uh, a nine month combat deployment to Afghanistan, um, which I did like enjoy because it was like a new part of the world. I got yeah, to yeah. see right. things. Um, you learn about different cultures. But yeah. in Afghanistan, was that when the war was going on and we were yeah. bringing America? So, like, were you in the middle of the war no, in Afghanistan? It's not what you see. I mean, like, technically, yeah, we were on a, a base in a combat zone. Yeah, so, like, they would rocket us and stuff. But it wasn't like what you see in movies. It's very far removed from, um, now, like, soldiers going in yeah. and breaking down doors. Everything's all drones or special operations. Um, not to say it wasn't dangerous. Oh, right. so I could totally join because I could be in a little camp. So wait a minute, Chris. Right? That means you had a desk job in Afghanistan? I had a desk job. <laughs> I got to fly around and go outside the wire as well. But yeah, you're basically, what you're doing is um, 
sitting there and you're, you're like, you're doing all these different sort of things. So every day is different. You wake up and then all of a sudden you're assisting this or yeah. someone really big is coming into the base or you're supporting another unit. It, it just varies, which I love. But think about it. Yeah. You having that experience and skill set that I probably don't have being in a combat zone whether you're partying or not, right. you're still very aware of your entire environment. Absolutely. And then to be in the middle yeah. of traders, what was harder? Um, I would, okay, uh, so it was obviously being in Afghanistan, it's more like life or death. Of course. Obviously, because you could get killed at any moment. Right. Um, I will say traders took, and uh, people might laugh at this, took way more of a mental, like it, it mentally destroyed me way more than me so it was a big mind fuck it was a big mind fuck yeah. because because you're lying to people every single day right and you might think and based off the show and the cut and what you see oh you were you know um you were so good at lying or you were a bad actor <laughs> right, right? <laughs> well what i wasn't doing is off camera acting every night like genuinely probably since after day two you'd cry you just feel horrible because you're sending home single mothers you're yeah. looking people in the face going like i would never do that to you and then you sit down and you vote for them it's just weird yeah um and i compared it to like being have you ever seen the, sh the movie mean girls yeah of course that's what i felt it was it was yeah. just you were the mean girl i was a mean what girl a i was a mean girl i was a bitch bro and i'd go around and you leave it but it was paranoia because yeah. as a trader your game plan changes every 10 minutes i say right and then you're they don't show it too much, but I'd fucking be at the door listening and be like, okay, they're talking about me. Then you run. Like, it's so drama filled of yeah. like paranoia. Who's saying what? Are they lying so to you? So for three weeks, you're you just, say for three weeks, you were just on pins and needles the whole time you were there. Yeah. When I was, when I would go back to my room at night, I was a mess. I would sleep. And also the traders would maybe get, maybe get four hours of sleep a night. Oh, right. We were up way later than everyone else when we sure. did our meetings in the turret. Yeah. And then you're sitting there and you're thinking and thinking, and then you're stressed out. You're trying not to look tired. Yeah. You got the COVID in play. You're just stressed out. And then you're like, I made it this far. I can't get, you know, and, it, you, and is it like survivor and, and big brother and these other, they take your phone away. You have yeah, no communication nothing. with the outside world. I had nothing. We didn't, I had, didn't even have pen and paper. Wow. Nothing. Um, no phones to call anyone. Uh, you, yeah, you didn't have Who anything. Who was your favorite player? Who did you connect with on uh, the show that you know that you can still be friends with now that you just are you friends with any of them? Oh, yeah, I'm no? friends with quite a bit of like okay. a lot of them actually. But like who you? So during the show, I really, really loved. Um, there's a couple of people, but I really loved Quentin. I loved oh, really. Quentin. Okay. Yeah, Quentin um, because he's a very he's a genuine, real person. Right. And, and most of those people were. Yeah. Uh, but I just like which made it harder. But I also realized okay because of that like I'm gonna be attached to him. It's just gonna make this a lot worse at the end. Yeah. Uh, but Michael, I'm really good friends with Ari, and I have uh, maintained a really uh, good relationship. But everyone like um, you still talk to Suri. I still talk to Suri. Yeah. I mean, right who, now who I didn't can't. you like on the show? I did not like Brandy. I was not a fan of Brandy <laughs> at all um, because she's really good at being a bitch. She's really good at. But she nailed it. No, that's what I was going to say. She's great at being a bitch. She's great at being a bitch. But also, when I say being a bitch, too, she was so – she was on. She got two out of three. She, yeah. she nailed us. She was observant. And she also just, like – she's been there, done that in the right. reality. So she's, like, not phased by the cameras, by the whatever. Yeah. She was just, like, locking it in. Now, we didn't get rid of her right away Yeah. because I think that would have been too obvious. But, no, she, uh, she was someone I didn't necessarily like from a game – play perspective right, right she said some things to my friend michael which really made me not like her they apologized made up brandy and i are cool went yeah. on her podcast um and you know rooting for her and what she's got Randy's coming great. yeah and Randy's you know what's really funny genuine. is she always plays she always plays like this dumb blonde but she's so fucking yeah, smart on and it. on top of things no she was she was on yeah. it like she was yeah. on it she was just good at what she did so i didn't like her as a traitor <laughs> so, so but why don't you talk to siri or you're no, not allowed no i do he does well, she's he on big talk brother right now Oh, she's yeah. back on Big Brother. Yeah, she's yeah. on Big Brother. Oh and I didn't know that. And yeah. her son is on Big Brother. And I think everyone in the house oh, doesn't right. know that. I saw that. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So I haven't so got to chat with her. there's another million dollars going out the door? Yep, she's going to win that. I got – she's taking that home. There's no way she doesn't. And after being a victim of her amazing, <laughs> like, gameplay, I yep. know she's coming home. She's got her. She's so damn good. Did you think you were going to win when you were on Trader? Yeah, I did. You Once did. we got through – I didn't think I was going to win by myself, yep. but I, I knew I had to like split it. And I wanted to split it with Ari. Once I had my, my like 
my like split up because I knew yeah. what Sari did to Ari in the end. Yeah. She couldn't have done to me. She couldn't have played the money card on me. Like you have all this money. You've been here. You don't need it. Right. To everyone. I'm just a guy who lives a homeless dude who lives in a van. <laughs> so, so I was like, how are you going to pitch <laughs> that against me? And I knew Sari knew. Okay. Like, wait. So what would you have done if you were the last two, yep. what would you have done to take the prize? I would so not. If you I, had the opportunity, I, how would you kick her to the curb? Kick Sari? Yes. yes. I would not have. Really? I you would have not kept have, her? I would have kept her and split the money. I just wow. wanted to win. You would have split $250,000? You are from freaking Wisconsin. I am. <laughs> You're Shit. not from fucking LA. No, not at we all. Would, you couldn't even give me $250,000 to even split with you. Are I you know. Kidding Listen, me? if we were on the show together and it came down to me yeah. and him, I'd take the money. I'd take the money. I'd kick him to the curb. I'd well, be like, go to McDonald's. <laughs> right? No, that's fair. That's through. fair. But hey, my gameplay was this. Like, the way I looked at it, it was okay i'm on this show yeah i wanted to win my fr like i'm the guy the dumb yep. guy from the midwest that's how i portrayed myself and i was like listen i want to win my first show i've ever been on with celebrity all-star reality show competitors i was like this is huge yeah so i didn't care if i had to split the money because yeah, yeah. i also knew people would be like hopefully down the road like get this guy in another show he's got to win it to himself i wanted to split the money with ari or if i had to with sari um, because I wanted to be like, hey, I went in there and the traders won, which they still did. Yeah. So I still take it as a victory to a degree of like, okay, the team I was on at least won. I wasn't a faithful sure. and get played the whole time. I was playing everybody. So what's the casting process like that you went through? Long, I'm sure it's rigorous, right? So what hell. was it? And it how was, long did the process take from the beginning know until, to the end? Until midnight the day before I get it, but it was going to be Tell me, there. talk me yeah. through how, first of all, you get contact, how this yeah. happens. How many alternates were there? I think there was just maybe like two to three. Two to three. Geraldine was an alternate and she got called in Okay. Uh, because someone got sick. Yeah. Oh. Um, the first episode, um, but but the the process was I want to say four to six months. It was a long time okay. from when they first contacted me, and it was through Instagram. I just got a DM from a casting uh, girl. Shout out to my girl Holly. She was just like, "Hey, do you want to be part of the show?" And I was like, "Is it dating?" She's like, "No." So and how did like, she find you on Instagram? I don't know. That's like, what great... kind of content do you pl so, put on Instagram? So I am a content creator. Which okay mainly everyone is in LA. They're content creators, bartenders. You know, I call it the slash city for the people who aren't living in Beverly Hills. We have to do four to five other different are jobs. Are you looking at me like that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are royalty. Are you, yes. are to say? I mean, I'm sitting on a nice ass couch with all these beautiful gowns around me. This is like way above where I'm usually at, but one day maybe I'll get Christian. Hit. I'm sorry. You know I just saying? don't know how to be poor. So hey, that's fair. That's fair. I don't know how to be poor either, but I'm like I'm at least uh, right in the middle. I think at times. Um, but no, uh, wh where were we at? What were we saying? How did the process started? You um, said four to six months. Four to six months. She DMs you. Oh, the content I create. Yeah, and then how do you I get am, on Instagram? What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, so on Instagram, I'm very much so. I talk about like I'm an adventurer. I, I have the van life. I'm a rock climber. I okay. do hikes. I travel all over the country. Brands will pay me to wear their gear or do things like Adidas Terex. Was that before traders or after traders? Before traders. Oh, they did. Okay. After traders just okay. helped, obviously. A yeah, little yeah more. of course. Like it gave me a little bit bigger yeah. of a platform. Yep. Um, but I just grew that ever since I got out of the military. I used to live out of a 35 foot 1997 Holiday Rambler RV. And I, did I that. don't even know what the fuck it's that an old, is. It's an old RV. <laughs> I lived in an RV. <laughs> Uh, you know so, how many times I've told him I said I want to get an RV and, and no across fucking the way. So no, but no, but listen. I feel like I can stop everywhere can. and just hang and, out. No, and to be fair, you're looking at my van, which the van I, I'm I'll never shit on. I love Frank the Tank. I love him, but let me tell you, an <laughs> RV. Yeah. I had a full shower. I had a full kitchen. I had a full queen side bed. I had TV. Bro, the RV life is not bad. It's expensive because of gas. That's where it gets. Yeah, but. I have well, thousands of pairs of shoes. Where am I going to put them in an RV? You find space. They can stay. <laughs> My guy, there's space. You just got to be able to not be uh, we'll just a do a double. We'll do a double decker. We double can decker. have a second floor. That's I right. have like four closets of clothing. Where am I going to put that on an RV? You don't need it in an RV. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you now, won't need it in an RV. You're going to be with your... G string jock strap, oh whatever it's called. Yeah, you'll be on the roof tanning, bro. You'll be yeah. fine. It's a vibe. But no, it's uh, I did that, and so I think people just. When you went to oh, Canada, you drove your van up I to Canada? I drove the van with my best friend, my content creator best friend. Who from does, here to from here, all Vancouver? The way to Vancouver Island. So, I oh, took wow. so how do you afford gas? Hello, it's $6 a gallon. <laughs> well, here it is. Not everywhere else in the country. Oh. It's usually like 4 bucks. And to be okay. fair, my van has a four-cylinder small engine. Basically, a 
for other terms, a don't Ford Focus. Don't say that about yourself that you're small. Don't say that. <laughs> no, the engine. The engine, not you me. You don't want to talk about the no, little engine. Oh, my no, no, God. No, no. The little engine that. that could. Yeah. No, no, the, no, the, 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 how I long does it take to get from here to Vancouver Island? Technically, I think it's yeah. like 23 hours. But we, we took a couple days because we had to stop in Crater Lake National Park. And I had to do an event for Adidas Terex. They okay. sponsored me for this hike thing that we were doing. Okay. Um, but Plus, he the, went through the drive through at McDonald's and was disappointed for the dollar pissed. menu. That was Fuck that there. dollar fuck, menu. Fuck that. McDonald's, get your shit together. <laughs> like it's just ridiculous. I think Taco Bell is still cheap. Oh my god, I'm going to the drive yeah, through today. I think Taco Bell two is still tacos cheap. for a dollar. When you yes. get to be our age, you can't eat Taco Bell anymore. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm just starting to realize that I got a couple more years of me eating like shit and oh. just working out to kind of comp for that. But no, it's it's been great. So I just do a bunch of outdoor influencer stuff. Climbing. Okay. I'm very big on mental health. Um, being someone who was in the military and like, just, I think there is a stigma around men and mental health in general Yep. Uh, and what that's like, especially in a city like this, it's really like, there's I, a lot of societal pressures, right? I am suffering yeah. mental health now. I okay. Am, I actually am. Yeah. And I'm sorry it's that very, you're having to go through that. It's difficult because right. for whatever reason, people just generally seem to think that you're just made out of steel. Right. And that no matter what you do or how much you do, they just have a mouth with no vertebrae in the tongue that just lashes out. Yep. And it's very difficult to feel those scrapes on my skin. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm running out of place. Right. I, I'm just running out of cuts. No, and, and I, I feel you on that because, too, it doesn't matter how succe successful you are, how much money you make, what you do. Right. It still hurts. Things sure. hurt. Like, and I yeah. always tell people your mental health, right? Like, it's like any other um, muscle in your body. For me to get big biceps, I got to work it out, right? For yeah. me to, to be mentally strong and, like, you know, curate the armor within our mental health realm, you have to work it out. So, whether that's therapy, whether that's journaling, whether it's just having conversation with yeah. another yeah. man or woman about your feelings. And in today's society, it's hard. Men are looked at as weak. Um, and as but besides that, I don't think I, I, I think everybody has an ulterior motive, and mm. so it's very hard to just connect with somebody on a very human level, yes. and then you're just naturally you, and organically being able to share yeah. without biases. Absolutely, no, absolutely. Very you grew up in Wisconsin, right? Yeah. So what is Wisconsin? What is the comparison? Like, how different is Wisconsin to LA? Well, I mean. Because I've never yeah. been to Wisconsin. They have yeah. cheese, and we have to beg for them to give us <laughs> That's cheese. right, which is funny. Funny enough, I think California is actually a bigger, I hate to say this, it's like a bigger dairy-producing state than Wisconsin. Oh, we are? Even though we're like... We have cows? Yeah, you guys have cows. I've you never have seen them running around. Yeah, because they're not in L.A. They're out on the farms. But oh. that's why. Um, but no, the, the main difference is, I would say, in general, is... Um, and it's not a dig because I'm f very proud of where I'm from in Madison, Wisconsin. You have to remember where you're from. It doesn't matter where you're going. And... If where you don't is know Madison, where Wisconsin? Shout out to Racine, Wisconsin. Yeah, you, you, you were telling me off camera you had a little uh, feature or a big feature, I guess, in Racine, <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin yeah. because yes. of your your likeness and everything you do and I fashion guess, and everything, I right? Guess. So shout out to see Wisconsin's we, we, got your back. We've, we've got I don't right. even know where the fuck Racine, Wisconsin we is. We have never it's, been. Yeah, it's fair. Is it flat or mountains? There's um, There's hills. Not oh. mountains, but there's hills. There's a relatively big portion of Wisconsin that's unglaciated. So there's a lot of oh. rolling hills. But Wisconsin is... Just um, just northwest of Illinois, Chicago. Think of Chicago and then just kind of like go up diagonally. Is Wisconsin and Wyoming two different places? Yes. Yeah, uh, completely, yeah. Different. <laughs> <laughs> completely different. Completely different. But it's okay. Wisconsin, I'll put it this way. Everyone knows everyone to a degree in the smaller towns in Wisconsin. Madison is still a big-ass city. Kay. Probably 300, 380,000 people or so. It's very Yeah, but fun. you say big-ass city, oh, 380,000. That's nothing. Everybody. No, but in the Midwest, it's massive. It's our capital. I mean, Milwaukee's bigger. Milwaukee's... I'm pretty Christian. sure Milwaukee's everybody way knows everybody in LA because that one way that's, true. that's another, true. They've been with each other. That's Milwaukee. true. That's true. Damn, right. Milwaukee. Milwaukee's Wisconsin? Yeah. 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 That's Milwaukee's where Jeffrey Wisconsin. Dahmer's from? Yeah. Oh, you're oh my got, God! We got Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> we got Ed Gein too. I mean, we got the guy. Oh my I'm making God! A murder. All the serial killers come guy, from yeah. Wyoming. No, Wisconsin. Oh but we'll, Wisconsin. We'll say Wyoming. Thank God Wisconsin. you got out. I got out, right? But no, Wisconsin is very wholesome. It's very, you know what? We uh, we'll use our car that we received from you know our parents or our brother or sister mm -hmm. until the tires run off that damn thing. I want to know something oh. interesting. Now that your tra the trajectory of your life has kind of changed a little bit, right? Did you ever think that this is where you were going to be? This is what you were going to do? Because you didn't even know that that was even an opportunity or a possibility. And yeah. all of a sudden now, 
I'm in LA. Yeah. Let's do the LA thing. Yeah. I need to book another gig. That's, so yeah, just no, I didn't really I never envisioned myself. I don't want to say I didn't envision myself in LA acting. I've always felt like loved entertainment and entertaining people. Right. Um like did you want to be an actor when you were a kid? I th I mean, yes. Okay. But not as much as I wanted to be like a firefighter or a, in the military or a cop at the time. But there was always the watching the Tom Cruises, watching Denzel Washington. Yeah. I was like, yo, that is so cool to like make a living doing that. Now, am I there yet? Absolutely not. Can right. I get there? Sure. It, I don't know. I'm, I'm just living in the moment. I'm, I'm living, I genuinely think the dream, like I'm content creating half the time. And that, that's also making films and short films with friends and producing sure. documentaries and doing reality TV. And then I'm acting, I'm doing commercial, I'm doing documentaries with like Samira Wiley and things like that. Like, I'm oh, doing, we know Samira. She's yeah, fun. Samira. Okay, so cool. I did a, the gratitude cool. project with her. So stuff like that. Oh yeah, commercials. we know the gratitude project. I love doing cool. commercials. Cool. And like some people will, I think it's a dig when people go, oh, you're just this or in any profession. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I don't, I'll go Why somewhere. Why do you have to just be one thing that's what i'm saying but yeah. when people say hats and you have yeah. so many facets to each exactly person. but it's the fact that people say just like i'll go to a an, oh can i get can you get me this oh i'm just a bartender don't say you're just a bartender you're the fucking yeah. you're the best bartender like oh you just do commercial what the fuck does that mean i love commercial what are you talking about like i get paid when the strike's not going on you know <laughs> good money to go and like be a fake dad or right. work with a dog or Pretend have I have ED. It's so projects? fun. Have you done any like movies or TV? Or shorts, like just that? shorts. So shorts. I'm working okay. on uh, one, but no, I have. I'm not in a movie. I'm in like some Amazon uh, documentary, like recreation stuff. Hey, Amazon. hey, hey, do Amazon Prime That's down and out no, in Beverly Hills on Amazon. We That's cannot knock Amazon. We just, <laughs> booked, we just booked the Netflix series. Did you? Yeah, yeah but you can't talk about that okay, yet. We won't talk. Well, no, but I'm, I'm not okay. saying that in a bad well, way. I'm saying talk, I was on we that. We can't talk. Well, we were on Netflix for the okay. documentary that we did. Oh, for Anna Nicole. For Anna Nicole Smith. Ooh, okay. What is, so, what is that called? Uh, Anna Nicole you Smith? You, you don't, don't know, know me. me. You don't know me? I'll watch. Because I know my good girlfriend that I brought to the... Uh, what is it, Zach? Uh, Unfiltered with Zach. Yeah. She yeah. was the one who knew you and was like, you two, and was like, oh, that with Anna Nicole and like what you've done. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then when I told her, hey, I think I'm going to go on their podcast. Yeah. She was like, no way. And I just <laughs> wasn't aware of that. But um, to circle everything back I think around. You, I think you're very cool. Yeah, oh, you're very that. chill. The difference is, I, I appreciate I, that. We know so many celebrities, they're all our friends. That's what I'm, yeah. We yeah. do, we live the Hollywood life that most people, think is exactly what it is yeah we, we're out at parties every night we're getting invited to this you're tapped in everyone but knows they're that. all our friends so yeah. it's yeah. more personal it's not we're trying to be hollywood no. we're just being who we are that's your and lifestyle sharing right and sharing our relationships and our friendships with our friends right birthdays anniversaries anything yeah. right there's nothing wrong with so that so yeah when I love that. when we saw you we're like oh my god he's like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, we're like, we're like totally, he's kind of a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. You're totally I totally cool. that. I mean, I've never had anybody come with a camper to my... There you go. Song. Exactly. And I've never done a podcast in Beverly Hills. I've only been to Beverly Hills, just driven through. Maybe I've done some acting around here and commercials. Yeah. But I've never, like, And done, here you are. And here Look I am. Look at what we're surrounded and, like, with. That's what I'm saying. This beauty, that's, it's manifestation. It's, it's I networking. Yeah, he makes all these by hand. That's what I was saying. I saw you roll in, and I was like, how the hell do you make... <laughs> A dress, let alone, I don't know how people make shirts. Like, it's so unique and cool to right. make fashion. It's so, I guess, um, subjective yeah. to whatever, but it's still unique. Like, it's I mean, it's a different like, art. It's a different when art. When you Here's, walked yeah, in and you went to the art. back, you saw him sewing. He's literally making You're a making wedding it by gown. hand. And I yeah. was like, oh, that's how this is. You what know. the hell is he doing? <laughs> yeah. But it makes you also, like, appreciate it. That's why, like, I'm trying my best to never, ever judge whether someone's very successful or whatever it may be or where they're at in their life. I just want to know people's stories because everyone's journey is different. Right. And I'm like someone being in the military and growing up in the Midwest, not having a lot. It's always like, what can I take from them? Not in a negative way, but as a sponge and add to my toolkit yeah. of knowledge sure. Sure. And, and networking. Right. Um, but I think LA gets a bad rep. Y'all are doing it. This is your life. This is who you. The difference. Yeah. The difference is most people that are transplanted that come to LA. They're fake. They're fake. Are thinking that they have to put on a specific act to yep. be able to get recognized, noticed, or yeah. go to the next tier. Exactly. Yeah. For us, we've lived here. We've built what we have on our own. 
yep. you know when it's not a handout. So if everybody exactly. thinks, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're from Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah, you, you had it handed down to you. I'm like, no, I work 20 jobs yeah. each day, right. every day. You're grinding. And it's still, yep. And it's, it's weird because we have all of our like right. friends yeah. that are just happen to be celebrities. They're our friends that come and they sit down and they do our podcast with us. And we just, we hang out. We chill yeah. with them. Which you, that's you would what it is. But that's what it is. It's the people yeah. that get here. I always tell people, the big, okay, the biggest difference between Wisconsin and L.A. is Wisconsin, no matter what you do, relatively speaking, you're going to be fine. You're going to figure it out. It's okay. It's a little uh, nicer. Yeah. Whereas L.A., I compare it to the military, no disrespect. It's a machine. It'll chew you up and spit you the yeah. fuck out if you surround yourself with the wrong people. True. Y'all have not done that. Y'all are doing what you do. And because celebrities and people of that status are your friends and are around you, that's just right. your reality. Like it was funny but, yesterday, but, yesterday. And that's not a bad thing. That's awesome. Yesterday we were doing, because um, he's doing the coffee reads, which is yeah. going to read your coffee cup. And I can't I'm wait. Fired up. Really I'm fired up. a little cool. nervous, but I'm fired he's up. He's doing virtual coffee reads now. And yesterday we were doing a virtual coffee read with a woman from the Midwest, I think. She was Ooh. from Chicago or something. Okay. And we're, he's reading her coffee grinds Shut and up. he's talking. And all of a sudden the computer rings, my iPhone rings, and it's Adrian Maloof. Oh and I'm God. trying to like, send it to voicemail by mistake and i answered it no so way. she's talking and the woman on the zoom she's like, is, is that beverly Hills she goes that's beverly Hills oh housewife she like, recognized <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious but that's just, normal that's just normal for y'all and, and and i think that is so cool there's nothing wrong with that that's awesome but it's the people that get here that like you said fake it they they try to be this certain way that they think is going to take them unfortunately they also think that because we are who we are that it's okay to either try to take advantage of us or befriend us for the wrong reasons. Or Absolutely. they think That's we're bitchy like, or snobby yep. and we don't want anything yep. to do. Like, and we're so I nice mean, to everybody. I'm just, I'm just a bougie <laughs> bitch. Yeah. I was born this way. What's wrong so with I that? didn't become this. Yeah. Exactly. I've been this. Yep. But if That's people don't I'm so like it. That's comfortable in my own skin. Exactly. Same with me, except I'm just not as bougie. That's why it looks like I'm going on a goddamn safari in, yeah, you, in you, Yosemite. That's a perfect tagline for Beverly Hills Housewives. What's well, that? I didn't become this. I am this, bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm not merch. trying to be I'm bougie. I was born bougie. That's right. I'm not trying to become bougie. <laughs> yeah. I was born like And, and the fact that you can say that confidently. It's is, true. It's true and it's fine. Because fine. I'm not trying to be anything I've never been. Right. My whole, my whole thing is if you're genuine and you love and have passion for what you do right. every single day that you do it mm -hmm. do it well right. every single day you wake up challenge yourself to do even better Amen. and every single that. day you wake up see if you can make a difference and impact someone else exactly yeah and that's it that's it and as the 24 hours come and go then you start all over again exactly. and you recycle repeat and rinse every single day of I your life that. without having to worry about do I have to be like this? Do I have to like, no, yeah. just be you, you. and exactly. do what's required. You have to you. Christian. Would you do another reality show? F f hell yeah. I'm casting for one. I'm in the process of being cast for one right now that I can't say yet. It's very similar to the amazing race, but it's not the amazing race. I wish is it, it a show that's already existing or it's a new show. No, it's actually, I think it's new. Okay. I think it's new, but it's all over the world. I'll, oh, wow. I'll, I'll okay. say that. Um, That'd be kind of fun. That would be fun. But no, I, I love what for you're Peacock saying. For Peacock or no, you can't? No, not for, okay. it's not oh. for Peacock. Though, okay. But um, no, I actually don't know what network it's actually going to be okay. on yet. But uh, I love what you're saying about that. Like, I'm just someone who I agree with you is like, just be yourself. I don't care to a degree unless it's my small circle of people. I don't care what someone else's opinion of me is. Yeah. What I wear, what I drive, how, you know, I guess how I smell. That's true. I do care about that, but you know, it's just like, I'm confident in me. That's what you smell. That's my cologne is confidence. Like I just don't, I don't care because I know who I am. Yeah. I know where I'm going, what I'm trying to do. Well, after you've been to always and I think it makes it a little bit easier for you to be really yeah. value yes. life in a different perspective true. yes that is true um that is true but it is it, it's an all-encompassing thing of like even at your level right and even at my level everyone's level the the battles within is what i think is the hardest part of anything yeah, yeah. you're start trying to like make it out here in la do things people are judging you you don't care make money there's strikes going on you have mental health it's just a whole thing friend groups i run a nonprofit. trying to run that i've never i don't have a business degree i'm just trying yeah. to figure it the fuck out like right and so we're all doing these things and like you said, I liked how you said, like, you just, you're getting these scars. What did you say on you? Scars. These scars, are, these scars from people yeah. undermining you or having their opinions, especially being a public it's, figure. And it's, it's hard, hard because they seem to think 
that you're not affected by it or because they're miserable they should yeah, just they go ahead take it out and on you make your life and i'm like exactly excuse me bitch right. i don't know you yeah you don't know me uh, yep and if you think you know me girl you have no yeah. idea if you don't have my phone number no you don't fucking you haven't know been me. to my birthday party exactly you haven't sat at the dinner table with me and had spaghetti right that's what like, i'm what's saying up? no and i love that so you yeah. if that's something that you got to remember though when yeah. those cuts are kind of digging deep you just got to remember that hey at the end of the day we got to find our ways to deal with it um but i try to put myself in everyone's like like pers their shoes right for a second and it's hard because we all we're all human we all like right. have Im you know implicit biases on people or situations and things but at the end of the day like you said i'm just trying to make if i can make one person a day you want to you do yeah you i'm doing my a, job here yeah, yeah. every single day you do want to make an impact you do want to make yeah. a difference in someone's life and you do want to be able to go to bed knowing that you know what i had a full day yes i really completed Yep. Ninety percent of my tasks today. Exactly. And I want to be able to do the ten plus the ninety tomorrow. Exactly. I love that. So yeah. It's just, yep. You know, it, it, it motivates. It's very it motivational. Does. It is. That's why I journal. <laughs> I've started so, to journal. So more. no relationship. You're not with a girl. You're no, not with I'm anyone. not. I'm single. I'm single as really? hell. Yeah. Why? Oh wait a minute. He's straight. Yeah, he's straight. I'm straight. Oh, but he I'm straight. I think he's he straight. straight. He looks yeah. like a straight I'm, man to yeah, me. Are you I say I am straight. I but hey, this is the city where like I've everyone's realized bi. everyone's by here. Yeah, I'm, like I'm what like, is straight anymore? That's like so last. So year. you That's are me. bi or you're straight? I'm not bi. I am straight, straight. as <laughs> straight can be. I have so many bi, gay friends. Tra it don't matter. I love everybody, but yeah. when it comes to like an actual intimate relationship, one day when I'm seeking it, it's a straight. I just want to be with. I'm straight. I don't know. Do you want to ma get married, have kids? Yeah, I want to get Snow married. No, White, and have don't kids. look at her like that. She's not available. <laughs> hey, I'm my bad. Keep my your bad, eyes Snow away White. from Snow hey. White. So she was eyeing me. You date? You're not, you haven't been in a relationship? No, I've been in I mean, relationship. You're 30 years before. old, right? So yeah, I'm 30 years been. old. But when I was in the military, I got out when I was 26. Is when I got medically retired. So from uh, 21 to 26, I didn't have time to actually have a girlfriend because right. of my job in the military. It was just sure. I want. If that I'm was be when you was in Europe partying it up. Yep, partying it up, and then going across the pond after. I just didn't have time for that. I was yeah. like, I, like I had my fun and I had like exclusive relationships with people, but nothing commitment level wise of like, Hey, we're together. Is that something I want? Yeah, absolutely. I would love that one day, but yep. I just haven't found it yet. Um, I'm very focused on myself, my career, my nonprofit, just, just being, just living. I'm just anybody who wants to live in a camper DM <laughs> Hit your boy Christian. Up. Because there is a spot for you. There is. There's Wait, what's the nonprofit? I didn't uh, it's called the Trace Club. Okay. So Trace Club. Trace Club. T R A C E. C -E. Yep. Okay. And then Club, and it's a nonprofit that uh, I established. And basically, what it is is it focuses on getting people outside um, and doing things to move their body with intention, educating people on various topics, and giving back and creating a community that we can like be sustainable, like very aware of yeah. being sustainable and cleaning up. So I. Just recently partnered with Adidas. Okay. I'm um, in the Hatchet Supply Company, and we're doing a, it's called the Parks Are Home Tour. Starts okay. October 1st. Cool. Uh, we got blessed off. Adidas gave us uh, like $15,500 and donated it to us to nice. clean up five different parks in LA. So one, we're doing one a month, and we've hired local vendors with that money, like food trucks, coffee, photographers, just locals to like help give back. Um, we have a couple up. of parks in Beverly Hills. Are you coming this way? We can. We can do something. We can talk. To, I don't know. I feel like the parks in Beverly Hills, you can eat the damn food off of. That's it's so true. clean, which yeah. I respect. So, well, when you said food trucks, I was just going to sit there and have a little yeah, lunch. We could do that. So we'll figure something out. I wasn't thinking about <laughs> I think that would be interesting to clean a park. It still well, would be yeah. fun. We could just do our own thing. Yeah, it's just yeah. like a... Let's just clean a park. Let's clean a park, and, and we can wear bougie clothes while doing it. That's right, man. That's right. We could do some shit. So are you vegan? I'm not vegan. Because you seem like you would strike me as a type that would be like, nah, vegan. I'm as Midwest as it gets. I love beer. I love women. <laughs> I love cheese, meat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. But you're in great shape, obviously. Yeah, I try. Well, I try my best. Well, he rocks. I do climb rocks. I'm very granola in that aspect. I he love that. Rocks. What's the, um, like, mountain, Mount Everest. Like, where do you um, climb? Mountain. So I've done a f of some 14ers in Colorado, so that's 14,000 feet. Yeah. Uh, done, like, Long's Peak. I've done Pike's Peak, a couple of those. Um, I did that at Disneyland. Isn't oh, that good? There you go. No, like, matter on a roller coaster. Are you scared, yes. though, rock climbing? Like, if you fall, yeah. like, I... It's pretty safe, though. When I, I don't free solo. I mean, I'm in a rope, usually, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm sport climbing. And I'm not doing anything crazy like Alex Honnold. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still scary climbing 50 to 100 feet on a yeah. wall or outside on rocks. But it's safe. We're doing, you know, it's... 
Well, because you know what you're doing. I know what well. I'm doing, or I'm with people that know what yeah, I, they're doing more. Yeah, you got professionals so. around you. Exactly. It's just being safe. But no, I love big hiker, like all over. I hiked in Italy. I've hiked in Canada. I've been to Banff. I've done all these. I just love it. I love moving my body. I think we, if we have and are lucky enough to have an able body, you got to move it. Have you, um, have you hiked Machu Picchu? I have not. I would love. Oh, to we hike went Machu to the Picchu. top of Machu Beautiful. Picchu. Did you? Did you take a helicopter? I engaged up him there? the no. first no, time. I, I proposed to him. We took a train. Oh, is yeah. there a train? Oh, that's then we sick. took a bus that takes you all Actually, the way up the mountain. The tires. Okay. It's like a game. The tires are off the cliff. Like driving out. Oh hell no! One of those hanging, sketchy. Yes. That's riskier than hiking on the side. I know. And the windows of the bus come all the way down to nah. your leg. Pass. So you look like you're just suspended. <laughs> nah. And you can't. You, and Scarier course, than shit. You, you need so much that? cocoa leaves in your mouth because you're suspended. <laughs> because I and you're like I you can't breathe yeah, with the first of time, oxygen. The top of Machu Picchu. Oh my god. That's see that's more scary than hiking it. Yeah, I think yeah. that's more scary than someone hiking. Ah, I said I should have walked. I should have walked the damn thing. Got your steps in. Yes, that's what that is wild. I would love to go there though. But I would love to do that. Magical, oh, absolutely yeah. magical. That and Costa Rica, we went to okay. the Cloud Mountain, Land of Love there. And how was that? And it's, Amazing. You would love it if you would really? go to Costa Rica. Go to Lands of Love. Okay. Because they're the only resort that's up in the Cloud Lands Mountains. Of, Lands of Love. Cloud right Forest. Okay. When you're in. When you walk inside or outside on the trails, yeah, yeah. you're above the mount, the above the clouds. Ooh. So you actually get to see okay. all the clouds, formations, oh, and the yeah. movement. And you, you can almost get out and touch, touch it. it. It feels like it's, it's right like there. It's like little cotton. But and it's, it's a group oh, of Israeli, um, a group of Israeli friends that all came from Israel and opened up this animal and it's vegan rescue. Oh really? Shelter you never know. On the whole, on I the love property. Vegan food, though. And Damn, we, I would love to go. Yeah, zip lined. We did horseback. Ooh, that's we right. We rappelled really? down a waterfall. Yeah. Can you believe we They've did got that? The that's See, like y'all are doing more adventures than I am. The like, waterfalls we did. Uh, what was the zip lining? Oh, I want to go. Supermans and all the other ones that they had. You'll have Horseback to. Riding. Yeah, I want to go. You have to let me know the connect. I want to go there. Like, I want to like feature it with my team. I want to go. That and would film be cool. This. That would be epic. We should talk about that because we actually have should. An idea for that. That okay. totally it cool. was beautiful. Oh, I love. Okay, so now asking you saying like, oh, you would love that. Yeah. Because there's, and you read you read coffee. How do you say it? coffee? Uh, Armenian coffee, coffee grind. Yeah. Coffee grinds. Armenian yeah. coffee grinds. So you read coffee grinds. Would you say, to people that you're religious, spiritual? energy what is your like terminology all of it all of it, yeah. all of it. because i i believe in i'm just curious i believe in the entire universe i okay. believe in the human evolution and i believe that we all have a higher power that okay. we yeah. can answer and to. That, right but you don't believe in a white dude named mentally, jesus who walked around I believe in it. I too. believe in Jesus. Or do you? Okay. Yeah. I, and I don't, I'm just kidding. I think he had great hair. Yeah. I mean, I went to a Listen, <laughs> when Jesus isn't available, I talk to his daddy. When dad's not available, I talk to his cousin who's Buddha. When Buddha's That's, not oh, I available, yeah. I talk well, to Well, you're in Wisconsin. Uncle. Weren't you raised Catholic? Girl, I was raised Catholic. Yeah, and then I went to a non denominational I mean, I have a big tattoo that says God is my judge. I don't believe in God per se, but I'm very much a. I believe yeah, in a higher power. Absolutely. We're all connected. Karma. You have to believe yeah, in something. I think we're ignorant to think that, like, we're the only yeah. people here. There's nothing high. I mean, like, right. maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm just so curious because people that do stuff like this, right? I want to know where that comes from. I'll tell you, you tap into a different kind of an energy that you've been gifted. Yeah. And I, I feel that, that okay. everybody has it, but they don't know how to tune into it. Got it. And it's just like anything. Right. I love the art that I create. The medium that I use is different than Picasso and Van Gogh. Gotcha. But it's equivalent to a Picasso and a Van Gogh. And them it's tapping just into their a way. hundred percent medium. Oh, that's 100%. so cool. I love that way of that's looking that's what at it. it is. That's why I asked. Like, Cause I'm always like, where, yep. where does it come? When did you actually start realizing that, oh, there's something behind this. Oh, like, over when, like 30 or 40 when years was a ago kid. when I was but a that's kid. That's what I'm saying. So when though, like it. what, did you do something? Like you were like 10 and you're like, oh shit. No, I just read my this family, my, my mom was very intuitive. Okay. My okay. grandmother. So you kind of pick things up. And then you're able to then decipher what's going on and, and oh, ask so questions cool. and you're intrigued. And then as you hear it, as you yeah. listen to it, and as you start connecting to it, then you start developing it in a different way. Oh, that's cool. So it's like the monks in Tibet that go up to be able to yeah. 
you know, to understand. Yeah. And you know what's They're not is there yet. Every yeah. time we would have friends over to our house and everything, and we, he would do these elaborate dinner parties, and we'd have friends over and do like right. a 30-person sit-down dinner in our home. Ooh. And then afterwards, he would do dessert, and then it's, oh, it's coffee time. And well, it's because I don't, drink, yep. I don't drink so coffee. So then he would generally. Oh. All the coffee grind. So you would see every. Oh, yeah. so you would kind of so like catch I, up. So then I thought yeah. I was. I, I thought it was a party trick, and that's why everybody came over to the house for dinner. I oh don't know. Oh my god, that's but hilarious. But it was fun. Yeah, but it was like it was more meaningful, and you started becoming. You said like. But now, more of it. I yeah. mean, since we cool. since I've been doing it, so many people. I mean, we have a huge network that we we yeah. reach, and I can't say no. Yeah. And I'm that one guy that says yes. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. My husband never says no. Yep, never say no. So I'm like, okay, let's figure it out. How do we do this? Okay, so we we figured out a plan and yeah. we're adjusting it as we go along. Yeah. But I have over 350 people that are booked Holy shit. a coffee cup read. Yeah. There's only one of me. Yeah. There's only so many hours in a day. Yeah. I have to sit there and I have to channel everything that's in that cup yeah, for you that can't moment. But yeah. he's doing the virtual reads and the live reads and Everything is accurate. It's yeah. so quick. That's like, wild. Very intuitive. Because in. that's got to be yeah. like you're saying, hard as shit. Because you can't. Just and go, I don't know anybody. Right. I don't yeah. know you. I don't right. know yeah. them. No, you don't. So what you am don't. I supposed to come up with? Like, yeah, what can I maybe, possibly yeah. say? No, exactly. Because yeah. I I did a medium thing once years ago. I didn't believe in that stuff, and I did it, and it was so real. And the, the medium never asked me questions. Like, oh, do you just told me stuff? And right. I exactly. was connected with my my late father, and yep. I was like. Oh, this shit's real. Yeah. Like this is yeah. creepy you in a good way. You have to be connected. You have in to. One hundred percent. You have to. And and so that's why I'm just so curious. Like, oh, how did this start? But like, wow, that's so in- interesting. And, and and so far, the ones that I've done so far, virtually and even in person, when they come here, they actually Spot want to meet on. us here. We do, we yeah. put them yeah. here on, on the couches so that they're on the set. Yeah, the, they, they probably rest, love that. Basically. That's what I'm saying. I feel so hyped right now. And then yeah. when I'm reading it, I I think. I don't know what happens to me, but I become a totally different person. Yeah. And I'm able to read things that nobody's, no one's going to know. Oh, that's so no sick. No one's I'm shared. So no one's told me. So there's no way I would know yeah. to begin with. And then when I start talking, they're like, oh, my fucking God. Yeah. Like, right. Seriously. It's very cool. Just a Ooh, minute ago, cool. I said, what's the letter H? There's a letter H of somebody yeah. who's been helping you go through this trauma that you've been going yeah. through. And this is somebody that you've known, and it's in the periphery. So it's not somebody that's in, in your face. Right. And she racked her brain. And she's this like, no, that. She nobody, goes, nobody, nobody, nobody. No, not my brother. End of the call. She's like, my mother was German, and her real name, and she said her mother's oh. real name started with an H, like, but they called her something the else. Hell? Like, what? Damn. So, like, that's why. I mean, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, and she goes, I often talk to her, and I yeah. told her that. I said, do you just sit somewhere and then maybe – channel somebody or talk to somebody because it's a letter H it's huge. It's right. Yeah. Like it's like, here. it's right there. Yeah. Like you get, and it just took her. Yep. That's so so Yo, when he reads your copy, you'll see, it's going to be really, you're going to be blown away. Oh, it's going I to believe be, it's it. very interesting. I believe it. I have I two questions for you before we do our, we're going to do runway. Okay. Oh, we're going to, pl- Oh, Ooh, I'm before excited. Runway rundown. Okay. I want to ask you about your tattoos. Cause oh, I've yeah, seen yeah. them. You got a couple. Yeah, yeah. I've always been scared about getting tattoos. I'm so nervous. But explain yeah. why the tattoos. Yeah, so this one is just a representation. I love skulls. Uh, it's a desert, though, right? It's technically a desert, yeah. But the skeletons I like because at, no matter what anyone is, at the end of the day, we're all bones, right? Like, we're all yeah. together. It doesn't color all that bullshit. We're just, we're all skeletal people around here, right? Just in our bodies and whatever. So I like that. And I'm always rocking a hat of some sort. So this is representing me and my nomadic lifestyle. Just this guy hanging out on a cactus, just chilling, just kind of like me in the van going through my own life. And then over here, it's just the, like the love sign. I always say this and say life rips and just like, it's just my thing. I'm just like, what's good brother. Like I just, they, they, they have a name for this in Hawaii. Uh, is hang it, loose. That's hang loose. And then hang, this oh, means this something. Shaka, I know this shaka, is love. Shaka. Oh, shaka, 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 right. Yeah. And I just love that. So I got Very it. Cool. Cause I'm always doing it in photos. I'm always doing this. And so I figured, why not get that done? Shaka, shaka, shaka. No, shaka, shaka, like, shaka, 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 like that, shaka, I think. Shaka, shaka, I don't know. Shaka, if shaka. not, we're going to get roasted. Uh, please, but. please. <laughs> tell us what the me fuck this means. Yeah. Yeah. Shaky my two fingers. Yeah, let us know. But yeah, I got those. Then I got one on here. It says, God is my judge. I don't regret it. It was just something. Please don't show us the other one. I don't want to see it. I won't. And then I got one right here. Turn down a shirtless man. Yeah, no, you're good. I got one right here. It just says, you're always with me in Italian. It's Stop touching yourself in front of me like that. Sorry, sorry. Stop teasing me. Yeah, that's right. I apologize. 
go to my OnlyFans for that. But no, that's the only tattoos I got. These four. I already here. saw your toes. Cool. Oh yeah. Everybody's signed up to see his toes. Yeah. Yes. Hit me in the DMs and we'll <laughs> figure something out via Cameo or right? Venmo me. And I are got you on you. Cameo? I'm on Cameo. We're on Cameo too. Oh, are you? It's okay. Fun. Yeah. It is fun. Yeah. It's like I forget about it. Like I get some interesting requests, but it's fun. What's Isn't the most interesting request you've gotten? I've gotten a request to break up with someone for oh. them. Like for a, a guy. So for a girl, she was breaking up with a guy. I yep. don't know if he was cheating on her or what, okay. but I was asked to tell him, like inform him via cameo. Like, hey, buddy, like we'll say Jessica yeah. uh, found out and is wants me to let you know that uh, you're being dumped essentially. But I had a different <laughs> way of, of posting it on there. I didn't I didn't make it public. I right. should. Maybe I should. That's funny. Um but that was wild. That was okay. interesting. And then I got one a cheer up video for a guy who got fired from Walmart. Their buddy I was like, damn, this guy's getting low. I know I felt bad. Uh so I like did my best to cheer him up. I was stoned. So I don't cool. really know. We do it I together. Said. It's fun. So this is yeah, yeah it's fun. It is cool. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a cool vibe. Although my husband rambles a little bit sometimes. I do too though. <laughs> Talk Look about at us, both of us. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do a runway rundown right now oh, with somebody that? really, really amazing, who's Christian De La Torre, Ooh, love it. and we're gonna see what he's got in store because he hasn't even shared them with me, so I have no idea what I'm in store for. Oh God! So runway rundown, we like to call the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay. What were you I wearing? Like what say, the fuck uh, were you wearing? Why? What the hell were you thinking? Okay. Yes. So you say this about me? Maybe I don't you'll know. be in the pictures. It oh. might be other celebrities. Wait, y'all are saying people. That? I'm saying You're going to say We're going to critique. Oh, oh, You're oh. going to get your opinion. Got you, got you. But okay. I'm the expert. So okay, you are what the expert. I say matters. Gotcha. That is <laughs> true. I'm the expert for the common low people that go to thrift stores. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Hey, thrift stores have thrift really stores, great finds. All my, uh, all my attire, which I'm sure some of this might get brought up from the traders, was all mine. I was really? Only, I was the only cast member who wasn't forced to wear anything that wasn't theirs <laughs> everything i brought was mine why the other ones had wardrobe yeah like a lot of most of them had wardrobe like they i and they i would have stylist on set that was bringing them clothes well Probably. i mean there was a no there was like nb it was massive they would choose oh. for them like it's not like kate had her own or brandy had their own right. they brought their own clothes um and then they would decide you can wear that or you can't what to wear i was the only one who right. always got to wear what i brought what so everything you, you saw was just mine from thrift stores i think there's one thing from zara that's my pricey Wow. That's it. Wait, did he just Over say the top. Did he just say Zara is Zara. His pricey? That's my uh <laughs> that's my bougie is Zara. Yeah, he, man. He overpaid for a Oh knockoff. my god. Yeah, was it what do they call that? Isn't that called fast fashion? And I shouldn't be no, behind that. No, it's called knockoff. Knockoff. You take you take the the Zinnia's, stuff that looks yes, yes, everything from Rodeo Drive, which is where you are right now. Right. Make it cheaper, change something they on change, it. Yep. They change seven points to it. Yeah, because there's got to be a certain where right, you so change it's not design seven copy. Seven points, yep. you're able then to call it your own and then put it back out. Yeah, seven points. Seven points. Interesting. And is a point like what? Like a, just a detail on it, or like an actual seven seven points which is so it could be so like a button on one side they so, move to the other side so you change the buttons you change the buttonholes you change okay. the stitching you change the the way it's been stitched so one's a placket one's over stitch got it so you change seven points so if the pocket is a three by five yep. you change it to an eight by seven right? got it got it so you have and to then do you seven. only put one instead of two gotcha. so but it's basically the points. same outfit it's the same outfit but it's just more affordable well, yeah, that's they really actually, what it is. They actually got sued because. Uh, yeah. But it's also cheaper fabrics. It's not. Yeah. Like, it's just not quality. It's right. Not, it's not true quality. designer. But like right. people like myself, that's all. I, can, I can't afford the stuff on Rodeo Drive. But I usually don't go to Zara. I go to literally thrift stores. Hmm. That's where I go. But they have great Goodwill. finds. They have great finds. Yeah. But yeah, I'd rather so do that than, you know, sometimes though I will have to go to Zara if I'm like, should I need to get like oh, a blazer? Oh, is that the smell that he was talking about? Confidence is what he called confidence. it. Confidence. Yes, confidence. Yeah. I'm a believer and you don't. We'll call it confidence. Confidence. But I think it was, I'm going to have to sniff that. I'm going to. So we're going to start runway rundown. We call this the good, the bad, the ugly. Sometimes it's the, what the fuck were you wearing? Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone else. Okay. But we're going to start with, hmm. babe, I don't know what you think about this. Reza Farhan. Obviously, your cast member, and which wasn't he the first one kicked off the traders? He was, he was the first one. I, I why was, was he one, the first one kicked off? Um, because I thought it would throw everybody off, and I wanted to split up him, Brandy, and uh, Kate. They were like kind of like. But the he Bravo. had no gameplay. 
No, he had no gameplay. No, he just, really didn't. It, it was because Shelby thought. I think he thought, was too busy trying to be in front of the camera. Versus he was trying to make the show fun, which yeah. he is hilarious, by the way. Yeah. And I like his fashion. I've tried to reach out to him once, but he kind of just blew me off, I think. Oh, <laughs> so okay, he's though. really bougie, huh? <laughs> yeah. So well, we'll, look at the fashion. I mean, this is so 1975 to me. It's got the track suit <laughs> with yep. a brand on it. So I don't know. Babe, what do you think it's not about? not flattering. You're not a fan of a brand shoe, brand outfit, brand jacket. You don't want every brand to be the same on the same body. Right? You're no, okay I don't like that. So you don't, you're, like, you're not a fan of like those old or even like the Nike or Adidas track suits when everyone's rocking those back in like the... That's fine. Okay. But you need to have an element of personality and yourself. Got it. Right. And when you're just wearing it head to toe, what are you doing? What are doing? you saying? Yeah. Where, are the what's same. the message? Who are you? That's fair. Oh, I like that. I'm learning. Okay. Who but are isn't you? it? It's but that's Fendi, your... right? It's Fendi? Yeah. So, it's Fendi and he's wearing Fendi. Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I don't look at the label. It may be Bendy. Okay. So to <laughs> me, I'm not, like, I'm not, um, I do like, uh, earth tone colors and I like bright, but this, right. this color scheme isn't necessarily my favorite. I'm not a fan of the dog tags just cause it's military, but the rest of it, like I like the suit. Like I think he has good fashion in general swag. I don't know. He smelled good. He, 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 he was, he sat right next to me at the table. I mean, he looked like he was put together. He's a good guy though. He's he a, good a good guy, guy. He's a good but guy. I don't know anything about, I don't even know what right. Fendi is. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I'm being dead oh, serious. I know it's the, famous. It's around the corner. Just Did you up. regret okay. kicking him off? No, I don't regret anything. Okay. <laughs> I didn't regret anything. I regretted my one move I said, but yeah, uh, other than that, okay. no. Tell us about the Apple Pop. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't feel know like it's it. too it's, much Fendi. It's, okay. it's an old man's tracksuit from 1975. <laughs> I mean, okay. who would want to wear this in today's age? And you know, he's lost weight and he looks sloppy. This mm, is not yeah. cute. And that old man purse, it's supposed to be a crossover. That's not know. how you wear that one. I got this yeah. one, but this is a dirty one that I wear outdoors. You're good. I think okay. it's just too much of the same brand. Okay. The shirt, the jacket, the pants, the bag. We're done. Move on. All right. Question moving though, on. Is it okay to wear that if you're getting paid to? If you're getting paid to, you would have been styled differently. <laughs> oh, see, that's shit I don't know. Damn. Okay. <laughs> you would have been okay. styled differently Got because it. the stylist Doesn't that's wanna... representing the brand would not let you walk out that way. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a stylist would... Okay, if a brand's paying you more than likely, you're gonna have a stylist that will ensure that's that it's put together. That's going to be able to put it together that properly. That flatters your body, that flatters your shape, that flatters who you are as a person, so that they complement. Yeah. Not take oh, away. And, the, and there's, I'm sure there's a whole message to be. I bet you love the Met Gala and shit. Seeing everyone. Oh yeah, of oh, course. That's so cool. I yeah. love this because I don't know course. this. Of course. I love learning about fashion. You know fashion. anything about fashion? Coach? I know what I know about fashion. Well, okay. This is this, this to is me it. is my fashion, okay. and I love it. I have no shame. Even if you rip it apart, I'm still like, this is me, baby. But learning about it makes me look at, okay, maybe you'll when see, I go you'll something, see things differently. when I you'll go to see carpets and stuff. Of yeah. course. Okay, so of course our next look, we've got to do Brandy Glanville. Oh, shit. Your best friend, <laughs> Brandy, my boo. Oh my god. We goodness. love Brandy. Okay, um, let's see. What she's we got. wearing all pink. Now she looks. Amazing. I yeah, she looks she's like a hot Barbie. Done. She's hot, hot Barbie. She's sexy. She's glowing. She's beautiful, right? She, she is yeah. tall. She's toned. I like the, cut, the shape. The, yep. I like the one leg out. Now this thing. is not an expensive outfit. Okay, what is, but I'll what tell you, brand? it doesn't have to be expensive okay. when you wear it with confidence. Right. When you yep. wear it with style, you see the purse. The purse is more red. Is that red, so it's all. That's yeah, right. So, so it has red, it. You see how uh, her cleavage and her midriff is transparent, so you see the glow, the earrings, the chandeliers that she's wearing. She's so cool. Gorgeous. Yeah. Like, like she looks, down, and look at her nails yeah. to match. That's, That's gorgeous. She, Brandy's always put together pretty well, actually. She really Even is. the shoes. You see how yeah. sexy the shoes are? Yeah. Simple. And it's all about the leg. It's all about the shape. It's all about the contour. Okay. So she looks Stunning. What do you think about your hot girl? I, th I think she looks gorgeous there. One of the things I would say, too, is I, what you mentioned is I always tell people all the time. So maybe I do know a little thing about a little bit about fashion is that I always say the outfit should never wear you. You should wear the outfit. Well, I think they should both complement. OK, that's yeah. maybe other. better. I just say like no I'm never one should be let... wearing the other, but they should. Oh, complement OK, maybe that's a better. Each okay. other. Maybe because I think you get highlighted okay. and people get to know who you are because the first the, the first look is your outfit. That's your impression. They right? don't know who you are. So after they see the look, they're already judging you. Yeah. So the approach 
is this is how I'm going to approach this person. Okay. So they've already in their mind Damn. decided how yeah. they're going to be. Christian, would you date Brandy? Of course yeah. you would. <laughs> of course yeah, you love, would. We love, we love Brandy. I, uh, I don't think Brandy would date me. I think she has a son my age, like, or just relatively young. But maybe she would. I don't know. Uh, I tried to ask Kate out on a date on the show. You she, did? Yeah, I said, Kate, when are you going to come uh, go on a date with me in the van? I was just fucking with her. She and? said, no. <laughs> did she say no or never? I think she said no. Oh, no, she's gonna, no uh, means Maybe. Maybe. No um, means maybe. Never means like don't even bother. Don't even bother. But nah, Kate is. She's got a kid now though, so she's. Um, well, you ain't the taken. baby daddy. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you missed that boat. I missed out. She's so damn funny. But uh, no, that's okay. So what were you saying? What's it needs to compliment okay. you. It needs to compliment. I always you. say I wear the outfit. The outfit doesn't wear me. No, no. You, it needs to compliment okay. you because the first judgment is, you picked that. You put it together. Did you put effort? How do you represent yourself? Is this the represent? Is this the your best but do I always representation? Have to think like that when Absolutely. I'm wearing something, like if I'm just going Absolutely. out, like if I'm just going to like, like you know what I'm saying? Do you like, know that the first minute yes! you were born, yeah, the first second you were born, they covered you. Yep. That's until true. Yep. until the day you leave, you're gonna be covered. covered. Yeah. You're never going to be walking around naked at any given time. Yeah, unless you're like some nudist <laughs> shit or something, right? And even then, you're wearing slippers. Slippers or something. You're wearing or jewelry. You're wearing oh, yeah. hat. You're wearing accessories that complement and identify your personality. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe that's it, though. Like, when I go to the grocery store, though, I'll throw something on, but it's not like I'm not trying to impress anyone. I, don't, I just don't give a shit. How do you do a you Samsung? Okay. I, they gave me this damn Samsung by mistake, and I don't know how to. Okay. You should. I don't even know how to mute it more. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I don't know. Okay. That, you I said mean, that you liked my fit. I did. I picked this out for you today. You know why? Because I knew you to you to be a little more casual. I knew I didn't want to okay. be intimidating. To That's you. why I wore okay. like. Jogging cool. pants cool. today. I did more intention behind the fit. I didn't like want to dress. I didn't want to outdress you. Okay, that's fair. That's that's yeah. the difference in the Midwest. We'll just wear flannels and jean <laughs> shorts, and we don't give a shit any day of the week. And everyone's cool with it. Here, there's there's more intention behind your fits because you're. Well, look at the everyone. world yeah. I come from. Look that too. At what that I too. Do. Exactly. exactly. Which so makes sense. So if I don't do it, I can't expect anybody else to come through. Oh, I'm learning. Okay. So that's not fair. That's that's fair. It's, what you're it's, saying. it's yeah. like somebody that makes Lambos, designs Lambos, and drives a Hyundai. Exactly. Yeah. How's that gonna work? It I'm, doesn't. I'm gonna believe in your. Yeah. Babe, what's what's a Hyundai? Exactly. You see yeah. what I mean? Fair, fair. I see My husband's saying. only seen one commercial. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Is that Next. a Kia? Is a Hyundai a Kia? Next. Okay, I don't know sorry. what it is. I don't even. I know it's a smaller car, more efficient. Next. Okay, number three. We found a picture of you, Christian. Oh, God, which one is it? I'm you know what? I'm kind of deciding. I don't know if don't you lie. look like a. Just let me hear it. You know what? I, I know you're straight. I, t I totally. You're oh, a total God, straight man. But get, you I could know. be like a, a. What's a straight hot man gay in mechanic in a porn movie? Oh, is a this gay the porn? One? A hot let mechanic and a gay porn. Is this the in jumpsuit? This. Yes. Oh, oh, is this my jumpsuit? <laughs> my like, le yo, I'll tell you which one. Is my wearing a hat? Yes. Oh, I love that. I feel like I saw this in a gay porn. <laughs> Fucking love that. I love that fit. I almost wore that today. I'm not even kidding you, but then it was too hot in the van. I decided not to. Guess I like the outfit, though. What do you think, Can Paul? I tell say, us. Tell okay. me. You can say whatever you want. This looks like it. it was styled for a photo shoot. Was it? Yes and no. That's... You style it? My friend picked it out who shot the photo for me, but I got yeah. that for 30 No. $45. We, American well, Vintage. Trust me. It's not expensive. <laughs> Believe yeah. me when I tell you, it's not quality, but, but it looks elite, cool. I think the it's intention yeah. Yeah. of the shoes matching the hat, the look. I like the boots. The, the hat and boots are mine. And the like colors it. that surround it was, is very impactful. Okay. And I think That's my photographer you friend. feeling comfortable in the way you feel is the most important fashion statement anyone can ever make. Okay, that's what You can I'm wear at. a lot of expensive clothes, but just like you said, it shouldn't wear you. Right. Yeah. But it wears you because you're not it's not it. yeah. your it's not style. You. It's not exactly. Style. You, can, you can pay $5 and get something beautiful that you feel yeah. confident in. And you can pay a million dollars and go, it's that's like, what I was trying to get at. Like yeah. It's like when I dress up, I don't, I don't have the most expensive stuff, nor probably yeah. will I ever, unless I'm getting paid to wear it. But you know what? That, I think you look put together, though. You do look put together, yeah. but I mean, mm -hmm. it really looks like 
from the gay porn I just saw. Well, a from weeks ago. well, Shit. talking about porn, <laughs> the fact that you said that you know you're kind of small, the packaging. Hey, was, I never said that. I said the engine in my van was small. Oh, right? the engine in the van. The engine in my van. Wait, let me see the package. Let yeah, me, zoom let me in. Zoom in. Zoom in. I got no shame. I am what I am, man. I love it. It's all about the motion in the ocean, my boys. It ain't I like about it. the size of Yo, the boat. But you, but you look, you look comfortable. Yeah. You look like yourself. Where'd they shoot this? This is in our district at the resident. Oh, cool. My yeah. lo- local, very, very cool. Bar I like venue. it. But that, yeah. That what was, do you think about this look? I fucking love that look. Yeah. I love that. That's one of my favorite outfits to wear out. I love that thing. Yeah. Did you steal the jumpsuit? No, it was, I told you it was eight. It was he bought it for Oh, the bucks. jumpsuit is your. Oh, okay. that's like sixty bucks like at American Vintage. My friend Jamal picked it out for me when, while I was in there. Goes, oh, I think this would look dope. I, like it. I put it on. It what fit. is Jamal's not straight? Uh, Jamal's not straight. He is straight, and he's got fashion though. I'll, what? You look his, yeah. he, have you looked? I'll so show Jamal, you his Instagram. So Jamal's trying to get in his pants. And no, 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 no. <laughs> Jamal just did a two week road trip with me. He's the guy who just did a road trip with me. Crush it. He's a he is a lady killer, but he's so focused on him. His career, he's a photographer. But he knows how to yeah. put shit together. He, you should see nice. his his style. He's you guys would be great, like, yeah. he's got great, I like it. Great. He's good. Great way to be able to put a compilation together. Yeah, and that was I just like real quick in like 30 minutes. I got to throw this Maybe on. I just yeah, but, the word compilation. 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 Oh, compilation. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you his profile, though. I think you'd like his, his swag. We're going to do a game. I'm ready. So the game is this or that. Okay. We're going to give you something. You know what this or that is, right, babe? We play it all the time. Yeah. This or that? Oh, Am we, I oh we started about when we, t- when we played Am it. Am I picking today? We played oh. in bed all the oh, time. Oh, you guys played we in bed? This or, or that? that? I need to play that. I, I need know. To play that in bed. You know. You know what the best game to play is? Our What's Saturday that? nights. We open up the Kama Sutra book. We just close our eyes, pick a position. What, Every what, Saturday what night. book? I don't have it. What is this book? Well, we have the gay Kama Sutra. Kama There's Sutra. a straight version, too. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a book. I usually just rock and roll with okay. what I'm working with. So you know Google. We figure it out. So you know Google. Well. Do I know Google? I mean, his engine is a little small. So if you, no if shame. you get, if you get the, just Google Kama Sutra. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's just all the sex positions. Yes. It's got so many different positions. Okay. Yeah. It's really interesting to explore with your partner, even Ooh. if you can't do it and you're not, you know, like, like flexible enough. Yeah. Like, am I going to have to be like upside down, hanging on the door and just, shit? Just trying it maybe. is kind of fun because yeah. it creates so much intimacy. And I okay. think it's like, Ooh, I like that. almost it is. foreplay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll do it. I'll get a book yeah. and shout out to uh, whoever. Jamal. In the Kama book. Sutra. Not Jamal. <laughs> Not Jamal. <laughs> Not Jamal. No. I love you, Jamal, but y- you know what it okay, is. Okay, so my boy. this or that. He's Not my bro. He's, He's the my bro. bro. He's, He's my, my ride or die, boy. He's my ride or die. So this or that. Not in our bedroom is we're going to give you two things and you get to pick one and tell us why. Really. Oh, quick. yeah. Okay. Taco Bell or McDonald's? I know the answer. Is that one of it? Is yes. That Team Taco fucking Bell all day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Dollar menu. Yeah, dollar, dollar menus menu. off. It, McDonald's inflation's too, it's too much. Taco Bell the best. Okay, when boxers or briefs? Um, oh. uh, boxers are the loose ones, right? Yeah. And briefs are like more you guys tight. You know what boxers or briefs? Right? Yes. Yeah. I'm briefs. Oh, okay. I like a little tighter fit, like the longer, like tighter. Not the loose, because if you wear he loose, wants to you want like a boxer brief. A boxer brief. A like, brief is like tight. Yes. Short. Like a tighty whitey. Like Kinda a tighty whitey. Yeah, I like those yeah. the, the like silkier ones because if you wear. Uh, Boxers, right? yeah, they can they bunch up. They, yeah, it's like wearing that. shorts and then putting yeah, something he on. Have much package, so I, I hate that too. Hey, oh you're God. saying it, not me, right? <laughs> not me. I didn't say Babe, that. Babe, you're the next one. Um, Gatorade or Powerade? I think you gotta go with. Um, What's the difference? Is it made the same? I think I don't. Really, I swear to God, I don't know the difference. I don't drink either. Yeah, I would say. I think one's blue and the other one has more flavors. Oh I, I like know. the flavors. I think you can, it depends, but I, I will say if you're on a budget, Powerade. If not, you got to go Gatorade. Oh really? Yeah, Gatorade's a little more expensive. It you can is. usually get. We yeah. don't know what Powerade is. Wait, I do you, because I live on the road, so but I know. But when you climb, do you? Which one would you use? I usually wouldn't. I usually have water. Honestly, it's oh, so water. regular water instead of the ones with the little like, uh, electrolytes. Yeah, like I. I usually would bring oh, wow. like maybe like my own like little thing that you could add in there like uh here he goes again with that little thing the little things <laughs> <laughs> it's all about little packages it's just like, oh my i God. love it I the hell christian okay. amazing race or big brother oh yeah which one <laughs> i'm gonna go with whichever one gives them top dollar <laughs> yeah i mean when it comes to prize money i'm going big brother but if it's for like exploration i'm going amazing race because i get to go all over the world that would be cool right that'd be so fucking cool i want to be on that so bad yeah Yoga pants or jeans? I know the answer. 
probably jeans. Really? For, you wouldn't like, wear yoga pants? I was thinking yoga, yoga pants. When you're like, climbing, don't you wear those stretchy little pants? Uh, no, you. They, there's pants. They're not like tight though, like yoga pants. They're more oh, joggery. Oh, because they've got like parachute uh, material. Yeah, it's stretchier. So have, okay. It's not tight. You don't really wear I get tight. It. Yeah. So I, I would go jeans, like a good you pair of Levi's, five hundred ones. So what's the difference? Why wouldn't you want to wear tight, tight to be able to climb up those things? Um, if don't be, you think those pants would get caught in like no, little rocks and um, crevices? Yeah. Well, you don't really wear like jeans per se. Oh. You wear they're a little more loose fitting and it's a little cooler like the air can get in there it's not yeah. as, when you wear something tight like a cargo pant no not like a cargo okay. pant it's kind of like um, like parachute kind of like parachute a little fashion. but a tight parachute a little, a little bit, bit looser they're, 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 they're a little soft. looser they're yeah easy. they're softer they're, easy fit. they're easier because you don't if you wear something tighter it's it's more constrict think of when you're wearing tight jeans and it goes into your like waist and you sit down you don't want that when you're climbing yeah I see. you want to okay. be more i want to go on a climb with this guy we we'll should go, go climb. climbing with you let's go climb coachella or burning man uh i would I'd probably say coachella have burning, you been to either no but i'd rather go to coachella because burning man was a shit show <laughs> yeah burning man's a shit show you're way out there you gotta bring it screw and you gotta that. pay double for the yeah. shit show no screw that even though i'm a van lifer i'd rather go to coachella that'd be Look way more him. fun We've Hot, been to both. Yeah, I'm, it's kind I'm of good. interesting. Yeah, they're different. They're just different. Nothing yeah. against them, but eh. oh well, I know the answer to this. You one. do. What's that? Toenail clippers or pedicure? Since you haven't had one, I ha <laughs> no, I have. But toenail clippers or pedicure? Yes. I would say toenail clippers because I'm. That's what I use more when I'm on the road or if of I'm climbing. Course. But pedicures, I. I I do like I get manicures quite a bit though when for acting. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. I grew up with great, I grew right? up with all women. Like mm. older and younger sister. I have no shame yeah. getting pedicures, manicures. My mom was a masseuse. I love that shit. Put me in a salon. Like cool. I'm a nice. van life guy, but I love the bougie life. If I can have it. Camp I know the answer to this probably too. Camping or glamping? Glamping. Really? Hell yeah. Well, I would think camp, you would camp. Bro. Yeah. He's no, not going to leave that yeah. for the mosquitoes. You would glamp? I'd glamp. That's like pulling the camper up to a sick treehouse all day. <laughs> or a sick ass like Airbnb style thing. In a, I'll do that all day. Living out of I an airplane. You, I, I thought you'd be living in a fucking tent. No. no I, I'm, I did that in the army. That's enough. I did I that shit. I could see you. You know those uh, little uh, canopies that they have that they tie from <laughs> one, one mountain to another? Oh, like and a, it, a, a, and a it's rope? like a little yeah. uh, no, and it's like a little a hammock. Oh, and yeah, yeah. then it's like cocooned, and they yeah. just sleep yeah. in it all yeah, night. I would do that. I'm like, who the hell would do yeah. that? I mean, oh I wouldn't God. do that for just fun, but I would do it, like to say I've done it. But that's, that's a little like wild. that show. What's his name? What show? Bear Grylls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love to be on a Bear Grylls show. That'd be cool. That'd be so would sick. Would you eat that cockroaches? Cool. I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever no on the show. I'll do whatever. God, disgusting. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, would be God. sick. I love pushing. Oh, that would, actually, that would be gross. So, fuck. No. Would, you, would you go on Naked and Afraid? No, I've been casted for that. And, and you I won't go on no. it? No, Why? They, because it was a love version. Or something. Mean it was like dating. I it was like you're gonna go, find your the yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. What am I gonna find my love in a swamp? Oh God, naked? no! Get the hell out of here! I ain't doing that. So shit. you turned it down? Yeah. Was, it was that my, before Traders or yeah, after? Yeah, it was before. It was my first move to LA in did 2020. You have to, did you have to take nude pictures to send no. to them first? Oh. No, there's no. You didn't have to take any nude photos. Because there was a dating show like that. Yeah, but but they made you get but naked. That's and different. That's different, dog. That's one in the UK, I think. I right. You know which one I'm talking about? And they cast you by your dick size on that. But in Naked and Afraid, they don't care about your dick size. Oh shit! I because didn't know this they shit. made you get naked, take pictures of you, and then <laughs> yeah, put just you send on a dick pic in. Damn! No, I didn't have to do that. Nope. You just went through the normal stuff, background test. Then you have to sign a waiver, being like, "Are you okay with being naked?" Oh my with god! Me. Even when you're naked, you're not naked. They blur out everything out. I know. Well, on thank TV. God. I, know. They yeah. I mean, Snow White. Okay, do yours want to next, babe. You got, we yeah. got two more. Okay. Tattoos or piercings? Tattoos. Well, we know yeah. the answer. No piercings ever? I don't have any, no. Oh, okay. I, I don't, nothing crazy against it, but not. What if your girlfriend said, I want you to pierce? Pierce what? I don't know. I Whatever tickles her fancy. Yeah, I'd, I'd consider it. You would like, you pierce your dick? <gasps> Probably not, no. No, no that, would, that, would that would pierce painful, my, That would hurt. Right? No, nah, hard pass. Yeah, I think so. But like, if it was like, oh, pier actually, no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pierce myself for my girlfriend. No. You wouldn't? No. Good job. I'm me. I like that. That's right. I thought you were saying like if she got more piercing <laughs> somewhere, I'd be like, no, oh, that's no, cool. no, no. She said to you. <laughs> oh yeah, no. You know that's because because he won't let me get a tattoo. He's he doesn't need a tattoo. Oh, you see what I mean? Okay. I he like, doesn't need I'm a tattoo. tattoo. I wanted to get. I want to get like a little tattoo that's like oh, a dress form. Okay. That can go here. That's I'm a designer. I'm like, oh, look at a pretty. little one though, bro. Like just a maybe little. Maybe you want Maybe get on the it. ass. Yeah, you would ask one. How am I gonna see the one on my ass? <laughs> like, Mirrors, man. You, got you a won't lot be of them. seeing. Yeah, I'm gonna walk around with <laughs> yeah. I'll be right. like, oh yeah. Do you guys want to see the little mannequin I got? That's like, hilarious. Seriously, no. It's a good, good thing to whip out at a party, though. 
He's gonna I got other things ass. I can whip out at a party. <laughs> That's, oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. What kind of party did we go into? Okay. Oh my God, are you ready I'm to Friday. get your? Are you ready to get your Armenian coffee grind reading? I'm ready. I'm ready. Do I need to like do anything? No. I'm excited for you. This is gonna be okay. Cool. Okay. So we're gonna do Armenian coffee grind reading, okay. and it's gonna be really cool because Paul is gonna look at your cup okay. that you've been drinking from, and he's gonna tell you what he sees. Okay. And he fucking sees a lot. See? Okay. So inside your house. <laughs> And we're going to call it a house like apartment, a camper. My apartment. Whatever. Or camper. I have an apartment. You've got a neighbor. Okay. And your neighbor is actually infatuated with you. This neighbor almost is like what? a stalker at this point. Because Whoa. it seems like they're coming to knock on your door every other minute. Interesting. Do you have something like that? I had, you got a neighbor. I don't have anyone who comes and knocks on my door. I had a neighbor that was... I guess, in, what'd you say? Infatuated? Infatuated. With me. They don't live there anymore. Anymore. Interesting. But, but they were yeah. infatuated with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now, there is. Thank you. Yeah. He's so good at this. There is <laughs> a female, oh, but fuck. not a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> but uh, because it's so close to your handle that you're very close to, that you share a lot of information with. This female has been very influential in being able to kind of navigate you a little bit in different sources. Yeah. And it seems like you rely on them a little bit more, but I don't know if they're being there for you the way you want them to be now. Yeah. Because um, they've seemed to, it, it seems to me like there's been a little distance between you two. Oh, that's wild. Is there truth to that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? When you say, di like, what do you mean? Like, be wait, what was your statement about, like, be I, they're not there for me how I want them no, to be? No, there, there's a little bit of distance between you two. So you, they're not helping you or they're not being there for you the way you think that they've been there for you before. Yeah. Or it's not the same consistency that you've known. It's, it's not strained, but it's almost like, oh, I got this handled, you know, you do yeah. your thing. Let's be friends. And just kind of call it. Yeah. 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 That's very accurate. Like very accurate. <laughs> Definitely going through that. Like currently. Interesting. That's, that's wild. I don't see that neighbor moved out yet though. Intro that, that maybe I got new neighbors, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't see that. neighbor. Okay. okay. Maybe that's a different person. I'm thinking a new, Nevada. there is someone there and there's, like a little cloud on top of their head. A neighbor. Show him. Yeah. Can you well, show, look. Can I see yeah. what you're... It's so weird. Doing this way, yeah. but wait, where's you're the pulling away? Yeah. And they're like right there. They're coming towards you. Yeah. yeah. That's that's this one. Interesting. You're, you're in the middle. That's the one with the cloud right there. Oh, wow. It's giving me goosebumps. <laughs> oh, wow. But you're telling me I'm, I'm right so far. You're right so far. The neighbor thing I just can't figure out. The neighbor thing is... When I say knocking at your door, yeah. I mean you're sharing either walls, you're sharing something with this neighbor. Oh, wait, that's wild because the neighbor <laughs> above me is so fucking loud and always banging on the like <laughs> crown above me that there I've complained go. and been like, like but, every day. Okay, so do you see there this you go. thing on the top? Yes. When I said there's like a little cloud on top, yes. so maybe it's that that's neighbor. It. Right? That's it. The neighbor and I'm not, I don't even, and they, they are, that's actually fucking weird, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, cause like they don't, we don't talk to them really. But I've complained. Cause I'm showing you. you right. Yeah, no, I'm seeing. Does? I'm genuinely seeing this. Now you see that part. Right? I do see that part. That's wild. Now, I know. When it comes to the outside, okay. I know you travel a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, I know you, know you go on road trips and stuff like that, and I see a lot of that. So I, okay. I, I'm not gonna quantify that and okay. say that you know you're gonna go on another road trip because I know that's what yeah. you do to begin right. with. But here's the twist to that. There is a specific road trip that you're planning that you want to take. And this road trip is a very intentional, purposeful road trip. It's something new for you. And you're taking two friends with you. Two friends? Two friends. Mm. You're Because okay. look at this. Damn, I, I was thinking of, okay. See, there's one there. Or is one going to meet you there because it's coming from the outside? Okay. This is you. And that's another friend. So if you've got one friend that you're taking with you, then you've got another friend that's there meeting you. Okay. This is going to be something that you're going to do that identifies moving forward in your life the, 
not a purpose because okay. you have purpose, but a different way of being able to then live your life. Okay. So the direction and the path that mm. you're creating with this one journey is really going to set you and put you in a place where you feel like, oh, I okay. get it. This is why I moved to LA. This oh, is the fuck, reason. Really? This is what I should be <laughs> oh, I doing. And here's where I'm going. <laughs> and I can't believe everything's falling into place. Oh, I love that. Okay. And it, when you say a road trip, it's just a trip. Genuinely. It's a trip. It doesn't have to be in a road. Like it could be a flying somewhere or something. It, it could be anything. And you're saying I'm going with someone, but someone's meeting me there intentionally. Yes. There's either someone who is, coming there to greet you and okay. say here's what we're going to do or you've got somebody here that's giving you the identifying factors and say you're meant to do this here's how I'm going to help you here's what you need to do next okay and this road becomes your pathway oh, into moving forward I could I think I, okay I love that I love that oh that's so sick do you I, think you I think I, know what yeah, it is? I have yeah. an idea of like yeah of uh, that friend that's with me is for sure. I think, cause it, I thought it was someone else. I thought it was a girlfriend of mine on a trip that I'm going to in Monaco at some point. But then when you said someone's meeting me there yeah. and it's more about like why I'm in LA, yeah. that's Jamal. That's my boy. We're, we're the content team together and we've been trying to create, like we're going to go to these places, create something right. and work with someone. And we're going to like, that's our, that's our path. We're trying Got to it. figure that out. So that, that for sure is that. That's but, but there, the is beating us. Yeah. there is something really, really, really unexpectedly that you're just going to start doing that's going to land and resonate completely in a different capacity. Okay. And all of a sudden you're going to go, wait a minute. <laughs> this is it. I wasn't planning on this one, but I'm going to go with it. Okay. Okay. Wow. You've got Goosebumps. some, you've got like little nibbles of things that are happening, but they're all kind of in the dark. Okay. You've got good um, orbit, good aura. Okay. But unfortunately, the things that you're touching aren't translating the way, they're not opening up the way that you would hope for them to yeah, open up. Yeah, for sure. And that's why this trip, the identifiable factor is going to resonate completely. Okay. Look. Do you see the bottom? Yes. Do you see how halfway it's darker yeah. moving into where you are Sitting living? Or right or right. Yes. Yeah. And this part, the lighter part, and how it goes up yeah. all the way through and goes out, that's the openness that you've are, is being created that then you're going to travel right through. Okay. That's going to turn out even see, it's better, always bizarre. better oh, than you expected. <laughs> oh, I'd love to hear that. That's you know he's never read my cup. Really? Won't do it. Take oh, your thumb. <laughs> okay. Put it on the bottom, twist and pull out. What thumb? Whatever. It doesn't one. matter. Okay. Well, you don't need to show me any more than I already nah, seen. Nah, <laughs> no, take, take the cup yourself, <laughs> hold it however you want, yeah. okay. and then do it. So because you just do it, it has in? to be your yeah, just all the way at the bottom. Okay. And flip. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, I did it. <laughs> now we're ready. Do Suck your finger. Uh. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, I'm so curious of what you're gonna say about other thing. I'm so oh, the distant thing <laughs> with the one f lady friend. That's why. you have. What do I do with my thumb? Am I good? Lick it. Really? No, oh, dude. Well, it's better. coffee. Yeah. There you go. Okay, talk. talk I feel so a bit of fucking camp bar. I know, right I know, I know, I know. But he glamps. He doesn't camp. Yeah, I glamp. Oh, whatever. I'm in the oh, I know. <laughs> they were delivering uh, Mastro steak, aged 48 years plus escargot. <laughs> that sounds good. Actually. Really? Right. Um. There's a message that you're waiting for. Okay. Something that you want to happen that you've put in the works for a minute. And for that, you're, you really want it to come sooner than later because for whatever reason, the challenges that you face around this one scenario, you're like, okay, I did this, I did that, I've done this, I know I can do this. Well, you called me about that, I delivered that. There's things, the hurdles that you've gone yeah. through, and you're hoping that it's totally going to pan out. But there's a string attached to it. Oh, and when you're finding out the string, see, you're in the clear. Okay. And it's designed for you. 
you should be the one that's going to take it. But unfortunately... Is that the show, maybe? The I, I don't know. Because okay. look, yeah. where remember I said just touch it however you want. Yeah. And then, you know, because I, I didn't want it to, yep. to, to know how it's going to work out. Yep. You see how it's still covered at the bottom? Yeah, there's still stuff there. There's still a little bit of work that you have to do in order for that to completely to get open it? for you to be able to walk through completely. And that can be anything. It, it could, could be, be anything. A relationship. But it could be if a you, show. It could be If you specific. have given up on something okay. or said, you know what? You know what? Screw this. And they're going to ask me for one more thing tomorrow. <laughs> okay. You're not the type to say, I won't do it. But there is something that you've kind of like started hesitating in like, Oh, okay, it's not for me. Not whatever. I'll just do it in three days from now. Yeah. Don't lose the passion that you have for it because whatever it is, you're right there. <sighs> and all you got to do mm. is just open it just a little bit more. And it may just take a phone call. Okay. It may just take a text message, an email, or just meditate. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes or a just lot of sense. manifest it. Okay. Because there's something there that you've already done so much so yeah. that you're like, what else do you want me to do? Like, there's, yeah. like, yeah. I, I can't do anything <laughs> no, I else. I know exactly what you're talking but the, about. But the, the wow. I can't do anything else is yeah. the wrong thing. Okay, so don't have that mentality. No, it's like, oh, it's coming. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, my God, I'm so into it. Okay. You have to bring back that energy in order for you to be able to then bring it out. Okay. Put it out in the And I think you will. And yeah. it's 100% you will. Yeah. You're that type of person. You for see, sure. But what's your, that. what's your sign? <laughs> I'm a Gemini, but I'm uh. like, but, I, but that's like everyone says. <laughs> it's okay. I can be friends with Gemini's. I just can't fuck them. Yeah. Okay. Fair. <laughs> that's so interesting. That's wild. I needed this whole. Re- wow. I didn't even know this was part of this. Type yes. Of show. We do coffee reads for all of our friends. Oh man. So before we. So end, how much? So tell me how accurate I was. I would say you're probably. I would say honestly, like ninety-five to ninety-six percent accurate. Yep. I, and I'm trying to think, well, maybe even more. Because like, I don't know you. You don't know me. I mean, you, you don't know don't. me. No, I really don't yeah. know. I really don't know them. I've met them one time. Um, <laughs> that's wild. That's fucking wild. The, the thing that didn't make sense was the neighbor. But then. The neighbor up above. Yeah. You have to think about it for a second. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I said you share a wall. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Infatuated. You, I don't it know takes that. a second. Okay. Yeah. Trust me. Okay. Sometimes it takes a second to resonate exactly how it really translates into your life okay because i see it i don't know your life so yeah. i can't be so specific to the to the point where i know where you live i know the color of your wall i yeah. don't yeah. right but when you see that thing on top of the head and they're holding it yeah that's a ceiling too right yeah so you have to be able to really it. understand and translate it well, okay i gotta figure that one out so before we go everyone we won four Telly Awards! Woo! We're down and out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. Woo! Have you ever held it's a Telly? So I have heavy. They're so I mean, heavy. Go ahead, Christian. Go ahead. Oh, God damn. Got, it is isn't it though. nice? Shit. That's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, we got four. They're down behind us, too. We got two wow. bronze. No, Look one bronze, one silver, damn. and two gold. Well, we're <laughs> part of an award winning show, and our podcast is number one in fashion Let's all go, around baby. the world. So, damn, there I you feel go. honored. Thank you for having me. Thank Congratulations on this. Thank you for reading my coffee grounds. Yes. Grounds? Uh, you're grounds? Gonna, what do you say? It? Grounds. You're, grounds. You're going to be texting me. I am. And yeah, you're I totally going to gonna be, yeah. you're totally gonna be sending me a picture and going, but tell me about the woman, <laughs> though. The one, you want me to tell you? Yeah. Which one? Well, I told you as much as I know. <laughs> what do you mean? The one that you're like putting distance. Distance? Yeah. I don't, uh, it's a touchy subject right now. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to talk like, like publicly. No, I yeah, understand. Yeah. But, but uh, it's like. It's tough. Yeah. There's someone wow. really close to me and it's just not. It just, just happened to like literally within the last, like not like a girlfriend, but like right a very no. close girlfriend yeah. of mine. That's very interesting that that. I picked up. up on that. Well, yeah, that's He wild. knows. Go figure it out. Before we leave, Seriously. I want to remind everyone, rate, review, subscribe. Tell My your mother, world. your brother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, wake up your dead, dead grandmother. grandmother. <laughs> we love her. Yes, make her subscribe. Um, Christian, tell our, uh, everyone where we can find you. You can just find me on OnlyFans. No, nah, you find me on uh, Instagram, Christian Delatore, underscore, that's, or Cameo. That's it. I'm just like, I'm on Instagram. I stay off Twitter. I have it, but Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram or follow the trace.club on Instagram. That's my nonprofit. 
I run that as well. So Love it. Thank you for being Thank here. You. And you've just been undressed by Paul and Patrick. How do you so feel? Good. I feel so relieved. I feel good. We love you, everybody. Tune in next time to Thank see you. more of what we've got coming your way. We and love don't you. forget to tune in to us on Fridays on the Jeff Lewis Live After Show on Sirius XM. Sirius XM, channel 789, baby. Bye, bitches. See ya, bitches. That's awesome. That was great. This is so fun. So much good energy. This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Paula Tu, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silikula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Paula Tu, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.